There is a sobering new statistic from the Transportation Department. The number of women arrested for drunken driving jumped nearly 30 percent in the past decade, and authorities are concerned about the increase. Michelle Miller has that story. Stop, 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 stop. In Long Island, New York, law enforcement put volunteers to a driving test, knowing they'd be sure to fail. I wasn't uh, comprehending really what he was saying. And blah. That's because they were all legally drunk. I thought I was okay, and then things got a little out of hand. Police wanted to demonstrate the effects of drinking and driving. Last year, drunk drivers killed nearly 12,000 people on the nation's roads. Alarmingly, more women than ever are at fault. Roughly 2,000 fatalities a year involve an impaired woman, dri a impaired women driver. This is clearly a very disturbing trend. While men still outnumber women by four to one in DUI arrests, statistics show when drunk women cause fatal car crashes, they're more likely to have a passenger in the car and more likely than men to have a child under 14 with them. Women, unfortunately, are picking up some of the same terrible reckless behaviors that men have exhibited. Last month, Diane Schuler killed herself and seven others when she drove her minivan the wrong way for nearly two miles before plowing into another car. Police say she was both drunk and high on marijuana. There's no data on why more women are drinking and driving, but signs point to lifestyle changes. Women are under more pressure. They're now perhaps the breadwinner with the unemployment rate. Whatever the reason, law enforcement officials are launching a campaign to stop the deadly consequences. They're spending $13 million nationwide to drive home the message. If you're over the limit, you're under arrest. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Garden City, New York.